Our next question is on the NEC. And our question comes from Don uh, from uh, South Dakota. And the question is, I have been informed that it is a requirement to calculate the available short circuit current at the service and at all subpanels in our plant. Is this a requirement in the 2020 NEC? Uh, management said that it is a, uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm having a little trouble reading it, your handwriting. Management said that as a project manager, I was to make sure this was done and provided at each sub panel and service by our electrical contractor. Uh, well, Don, NEC 110.24 A and B uh, only requires it at the service. But once again, uh, as a project manager, if you, you know, if you've read the specs uh, of the job or check with management, uh, uh, is this an in-house requirement? Just management uh, wants to make sure that at the service and all sub panels, the available short circuit current is listed along with other items because they also have the responsibility and NFPA 70E 130.5H uh, to, uh, to outline and put certain things on a label on the equipment. And they just may want 110.24 A and B on service and sub panels so that they don't have to add uh, to the label uh, any more, too much more information, just what is required in 130.5H. So consider the two labels. Uh, one label is, uh, well, let's, let's just look at the NEC labels, 110.16, 110.24. But 70E label is 130.5H. Now, when you put those together, I think this uh, question you ask uh, will uh, make better sense to you when you read those sections. I hope this information uh, this information is helpful to you.